Hey everybody, Bryna here, live from Chicago. Um, yeah, when Chicago Day is tomorrow, I'm super excited, but for now, I'm about to go meet up with Ashley and catch up and hang out, and we're gonna record for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned for more festivities. Got you covered as best as I can. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Sometimes the fans will take things a little personally. I mean, people are still angry at me about you. I'm like, I didn't walk away. She walked away. I want the, the push test, the fucking push test. If you think that's the only one, <laughs> You, no. <laughs> Who doesn't want a little extra cash when they're 15, 16 years old? You know what I mean? Go shopping. Yeah, I love to shop. Charlotte Ruth. I know exactly what you mean. I love to shop. <laughs> Charlotte Ruth, what's that? <laughs> it, was a, it doesn't exist anymore. It was like a popular, like, wet, wet and wild. What was it called? Wet Seal. Wet, wet seal. seal. Wet Seal. Wet Seal and Charlotte Ruth and Hot Topic. Seal. They were like, the places to go. You know what Hot is, Topic. Oh yeah, I do. Of course. Yeah, it's right next to Spencer's usually. Yeah, the mall. Spencer's. <laughs> Spencer Gibbs. And so, kind of talking about that, I mean, fans are seem very invested in this idea of you guys potentially getting together romantically. I'm just curious, like, is that something you guys are interested in exploring, or are you, would you guys rather just keep it as like partners? I feel like uh, Jay needs to figure out <laughs> his stuff before yeah. Haley can Jay needs entertain. To get his act together. He needs to figure it out. Yeah, because it's it's like. Maybe they're getting closer, and then all of a sudden Jay's like, but I'm going to go date this person who happens to be a drug dealer. And then Haley's like, oh my god. <laughs> so, so Stop it, eye rolling. So we'll, <laughs> so we'll see, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see where that goes this season. Who knows? Yeah. So then if you could give Jay any piece of advice for you. Um, stay home. <laughs> <laughs> stay home. Go to work. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, good advice. That's great advice. Yeah. Listen, if you just here, here's, 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 here's it, it was probably his idea. It was probably his <laughs> idea to do the, the, the whole street thing. For kid and samurai, as the season. <laughs> <laughs> See, and he's the guy to ask. So I, 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 know, really say, I know. I just go. I go talk to talk to talk to the writers. Talk to DH. <laughs> Talk to our creator. Yeah. Our beloved Carrie. I gotta be real careful here with this one. You do, because she's invested. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> our listeners are invested. We're all invested. I actually, oh. <laughs> I actually didn't. From my perspective, I and I still do see um, two work colleagues who like each other very much as friends and it's platonic but it has taken maybe a little bit of a shift but they're both a bit gun shy and, and not about to risk anything you know just you know destroying the energy that they have at the, at the firehouse particularly since they've lost you know right. one of their dearest and closest but by the way, you but have to remember, of, in terms of can still tragedy, fire people for In terms of tragedy, people, you know... Things happen. Yeah, rel yeah, yeah. Romantic <laughs> attachments do occur. Relentless um, in the court. I think they're doing a really good job of, of, of you know, keeping their feet on the brakes and, you know, their hands not off diving, of yeah, and not diving into it, which is very nice. So they're, they're building a relationship, I think, more as friends at this point than... Building up ahead of steam. You know. I don't know. What and if you know Derek Hass, like I yes. know him, he'll pull that rug from under you, and then oh. yeah, and it won't happen. So be careful. Okay. <laughs>
Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them. Yeah, everyone's, is everyone on board? We all know what shots are. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, Will it fire? Okay. With that said, patrol unit responded, found the front door, kicked it, and had uh, also learned that CFD, which is? Chicago Fire Department. Chicago the Fire Department ambulance transported an individual who was in critical condition because he was shot. What we know is shots fired. We also know five minutes later a call came out that there was a disturbance in the hallway. So what's going to happen today is there's going to be three people will be brought into three different stations. Wait, wait. Go ahead. She's going to slow me down. So there's shots fired. <laughs> yeah. There was a disturbance in the hallway. Yes, yes. And, very good group. And the CFD ambulance yes. came and picked up a person who was injured from here. And, and that person condition. is the homeowner or the leasee. The leasee or the homeowner, right. very important distinction. It won't matter at all. all right. Okay. Um, and the one of the individuals that called the police was the landlord. Okay. Okay. That's good. I think the landlord called the police. One of the persons. Okay. This blood is somebody else's. Okay. Now you don't want to leave blood trail, so you wipe up the blood, right? So maybe so one of those bullets is in the landlord. So, or maybe he shot the guy, maybe he hit his head. Did you look real oh. close to this corner? What's there? Yeah. Is there hair there? there? Yeah, there's hair there. What kind of evidence is that? Trace evidence. That's what we're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen. So, so far we know that the offender was in a struggle. He made it look like he kicked in the door. We believe it's the landlord. We now have physical evidence and trace evidence that can match up to him. But if you keep looking around, there may be another piece of evidence. Look under the floor, look at the carpets. Uh, you're getting warmer. most beneficial. You're over here for a reason. You were picked specifically. You're here to save lives. You're here to save fake lives. Yes. And the only way we can do that um, is by having these three stations set up before you go into the room behind you. The stations are so CPR and defibrillation, hemorrhage control, and airway. And all of that will play when we get it over into the other room. So remember your specific skills that you learned because you will be putting it into action over there. And we and we mean TV action. Right. <laughs> Some serious fake medicine. There you go, that's good. There you are. Take a time right the minus the trick. He The left is above the knee. Oh! He's transferred to the ED, but suddenly <laughs> he becomes unresponsive. What do we do? Everybody Same hands in. You guys are the medical team. Ready? Go! Break! Break! Get out of way! Oh, yes. Check the pulse, check the pulse. Is there a pulse? Fecal matter, come out of his underside, Doc. Okay, there we go. Hey, this is a real big dummy. Swiss, 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 swiss. It would be remiss if we didn't talk about The one thing we didn't cover was hair. And that is really for a doctor. Some of the. Charlotte, you come back. You care about hair. <laughs> he takes his time with his hair too. All right, maybe I take longer. All right, okay. But perfect hair is really at the end of the day what's going to save a life. <laughs> Tell your friends, right? All right. You guys have to go. All right, we're ready. I'm going to use his sledgehammer as a battering ram. 
or one of you will be the door for each person. You won't be involved in the service. So if, when the cast is ready, they're going to have their left hand in the wall or their partner's boot, right hand to the tool. It's going to start with... Thank you. 